Mm, what's up, what's up, and of course, what is up guys, hope you are all doing okay, hope you're doing well and whatnot. So, we've got a proper triple treat for you today in terms of juice reviews, so before I get into that, yeah, I'm going to try and get as many review videos and whatnot done as I can over this uh, busy Christmas period. Unfortunately, I'm working a hell of a lot and we'll probably not get any time off to go see family either so when me and Emma move back up north we're going to be obviously doing our Christmas time the end of January um, instead so yeah I'm going to try and get as many reviews as I can done I've still got a hell of a lot of juice still to review some from Expo some that I've still just been buying um, cause you can never ever get enough juice obviously this these two shelves are literally filling up pretty fast full of juice. Um, so yeah, received a package yesterday from the guys at the one and only Vape Goo. Let me just get this out for you. Yeah, I'm not going to give the names too much away due to we'll go through each one um, as we go. The only one I have tried is last night that I opened was the first one I'm going to review as well today. That's why there is a little bit missing. This is the Cola Bottles flavour. So, obviously, Cola Bottles, what is it? Is it like a Coca-Cola sort of flavour or is it a sweet Coca-Cola? Like the little jelly sweet things or is it like a Coca-Cola, like the Ice Pop, Ice Pole, whatever you want to call them, what you used to have when you were a kid as well? So yeah, very good stuff, 30 mil, 100 mil, the only two options really, 0, 3, 6, 12 and 18 milligram, 30 or 100 mil, come in the unicorn bottles for 30 and the giant fat unicorn bottles for the 100, plain sort of simple labelling and again I think I mentioned in a previous video that is really what it's like the, the labelling doesn't sell me, but then as soon as you literally just go, oh, I'll try it. There we go. Like, you, you find out the amazing, what is it? Um, the amazing discovery, whatever that's inside. I don't really know. Meh. So, yeah. We'll start with cola bottles. And this is, like I said, this is the only one I've tried of the three. These two are still full and unopened. So we'll um, we'll give that a go uh, after the cola bottles flavour. So giving it a smell. It's definitely, for me, like it feels like a cross between like the little jelly cola bottle sweets and like... The sort of ice, ice pop, ice pole thing, things, I don't know, <laughs> whatever you want to call them, because uh, it's different obviously wherever anyone's from. So, what am I vaping on? So, we've got the Twisted Messers 24 on my new Minikin V2 that has Modus sent over to me as like a giveaway sort of win. This is a spot on device if you've ever. If you ever wanted sort of like a touchscreen device, it can be temperament really temperamental with the um, the unlocking sort of side of things. But uh, Emma came up with a, a cool thing yesterday to always get it to unlock every time. Use this portion of your thumb, and as you're holding it, swipe it down, and it unlocks straight away, ready to go. So cheers, Emma, for hooking me up with that idea. Yeah, so the first one we're going to do is Cola Bottles, Twisted Master 24, Minikin V2, I think it is, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, wrap, 24 gauge, Nichrome Clapton from Crazy Wire, again, we'll check the links to everything that I talk about in my videos in the description below, yeah, and it's parallel with 24 gauge, Nichrome, I don't think that's from Crazy Wire, I think that's from, um, Something else, uh, rocking it 80 watts, let's see, yeah, that'll do. Airflow, about two thirds open-ish, I just like, usually with like the sl the sl slanty airflow sort of thing, I prefer to have it more the size of the coil but a little bit less, so it's got a bit more of a tighter draw to it. So let's just jump straight in and try the juice, shall we?
full of flavour, straight off the bat, completely full, full on, in your face, flavour. Inhale, it seems to have a bit of like, again for me, I don't know if it's the build or whatever, damn blooming vape everywhere. Um, I'm not sure if it's just the build I've got in it, but it has a t slight bit of like a spitty sort of effect. I don't even know if it's like you say that's even a thing. Um, <laughs> but it's really rich in cola, like the really plain cola bottle sort of sweets, and that weird spitty effect really gives it more taste like the like if you're having like the fizzy sweets with the sugar over the top. But yeah, it's a it's, a re it's really good juice, like. For me, it's definitely one of those that I'd love an ice cold, like, energy drink or something with it. Or, like, just a nice cold glass of water with some, like, juice in it. Oh, that'd be absolutely lovely to go really well with this. Um, it's not harsh. Like, I've noticed with all vape juice juices, it's just nothing but smoothness from the go sort of thing, really. It is just, they're very rich in flavour and I'm probably mentioned in all my reviews on Vape Gear. Mm, excuse me. Woo. Um, you are best to let them steep because they are quite not, um, they are like kind of freshly made but they uh, don't really have much of a steep time already on them when they get sent out. So the longer they steep, the flavour just literally jumps, flies out of the bottle really. Um, so yeah, that was Cola Bottles, definitely, definitely one for me, definitely go check Vape Go out, so we'll jump into another one, so, oh, I don't know even which one to try first, um, mm, let's go with, uh, we'll do, yeah, we'll do this one. So the next one that obviously these have been sent by Vigu for the purpose of this reviews grape soda. So the other day I did a review for Anarchist Purple. So that was a grape bubblegum, and this is obviously a grape soda. I'm hoping there's no not really like a bubblegummy sort of taste to it. I just wouldn't wouldn't really like to try and compare the two, but yeah. So top off, let's give it a smell. Smells really grapey, <clears throat> so, <clears throat> excuse me, hold on, I need to go get a drink. Mmm, Waitrose orange juice, straight out of the carton. Mmm-mm. Ah, so good. Right, anyway. <clears throat> really feel like there's something definitely in my throat here. It's definitely, like, rich in, like, the great, like, the sort of... The only thing I can describe, like, compare with... Grape grape flavored juices is grape ka like the the drink the fizzy one and you can get the still one as well. This one smells more of like the still one, um, very just grapey really, uh, like a grape flavoring sort of thing. Um, yeah, that's all I can say really on the the matter of the grape soda currently. So tugboat. Parallel box with we out here do RDA still got I keep wicking re wicking cleaning completely this um, same build that I have in here. Um, this one is the triple parallel single coil the um, The Alien Nichrome parallel with Nichrome Clapton parallel with Twisted Nichrome, all from Crazy Wire, of course. So, oh, that smells pretty good. Alright, let's go and give that a vape. I think that's coming out at like 0.13 or something. Notice with Burp Stop? Yeah, Burp? No. Uh, there we go. Anyway, I've noticed with like these sort of boxes, like if they're parallel, I still need to build low. Because anything above like 0.2 just feels really too weak. Um, so yeah, let's 
Grape soda, babe goo, give it a go. That is really, really strange. It's not really on the, the strong poppy, hello cloud, um, not on the, the strong like poppy side uh, flavour wise, but it's a really nice, again, smooth feeling, wow, this place is really smoky, like a really sort of like diluted version of like the still KA sort of taste, um, there's there's still a lot a lot of flavor there but it's not really popping out to me too much yet personally i think it's going to be when obviously when this steeps a bit more maybe it's going to taste a hell of a lot more intense but it's a good fruity vape i guess like also thinking about it grape soda because obviously it'll be a grape flavor combined with like a carbonated water the soda sort of side of it so that could be why it's slightly dulled down a little just to give it more of its actual function of purpose function of its taste kind of thing maybe i'm not sure but but that's a damn good juice okay yeah so that was the grape soda by vape goo so definitely if you like your fruity, definitely go check that out. So the last one, oh, got juice everywhere. Okay, let's clean that up first. And then we'll get into the last one. I don't, the clue is in the name what it could be, but I'm personally, I'm not sure if it's actually what I think it's gonna be, even though we'll find out, i just whack the mage rta on this okay so the last one of the three vape juice vape juice vape goo e-liquid review i've still got another one two three i think i've still got another four vape goo juices to review don't think i've got anything i could Oh, I can't even get the top off the mage right now. Okay, so we're not going to be using the mage. Uh, RDAs, RDAs, what to use. Um, phone will not stop going off. Um, screw it. Let's go for the avocado 24. Yeah, that'll do. Sure. Cool. Use the avocado 24. Da, 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 da. Full airflow. And I also need batteries. Let's get the good old battery box out. Da, da, da. Okay. Bear with me, guys. Just need to go and sort this out. Cool. And we're in. Eh. Nah. Give it a quick little bit of a vape beforehand. Get some of this crap off it. Let's say, so I think it's about a 5 6 wrap Crazy Wire Clapton 24 gauge core 0.26 ohms. Let's put it at, let's say, uh, 76 watts. Cool. So obviously I'm not going <clears> to <throat> fill up the uh, Avocado 24. Just use it as a dripper currently. So... 
The last one we're going to be looking at is Monkey Custard. So this one is, again, they're all 70-30 BGPG. All, they all, again, they all come in those 30 or 100 mil bottles. So what is it? I actually haven't checked the description out on their page for this. But straight away, it's very literally bursting at you that it is banana flavoured. So... I think it could be like a banana custard, maybe, or just a banana in, banana flavour in general. So, let's give it a drip on the Avocado 24. <clears throat> Let some of that juice soak in a bit. There we go. Cool. So, just... Oh, always juice. Juice just controls my life. Um, yeah, so Avocado 24... Mmm, airflow about halfway open, get it in line with the coils. Using it on the Relo RX two thirds gold. So let's see how it goes. There's definitely two flavours in this. But I'm not sure what it is. I think... Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. Personally, I think... It's a really nice, smooth sort of banana. But then... Instead of having a banana custard, it tastes like banana and... The neat, a neat custard flavour. So, so it's really smooth and rich in both flavours, so it feels like they're completely parallel, complementing each other next to each other really nicely. It's, personally, that is a re it's really nice, like, it's not the same as a lot of um, banana custards and banana flavours that you, like, you might have tried before. The smell is really rich in banana and custard, but the taste is completely different to the smell. Um... But it's oh, it's a damn good juice. Really bananary, not too much. A bit like ambrosia banana custard, maybe if you ever tried the ambrosia custards and whatnot. Um, it's very smooth and very sweet, but not artificial sweet. It's just really nice in flavour. Not really like a candied banana either. It's natural. But has that bit of its artificialness with it as well. Um, but all in all, these three, thank you, Vape Goo, for sending me these to review for this purpose of this review. It is, they are damn good juices. Like, your new range has literally peaked my expectations. <clears throat> I don't think I could be any more satisfied with, the f I, I know you guys do amazing flavours anyway, but these really have upped the game, up the bar a little bit. You know what, I'm going to review another one, um, let's see what I've got, uh, yeah, let's see, let's do another one, um, what haven't I done, there's only one juice that I have from them that I'm not really looking forward to reviewing because it is a quite a negative review. Um, because I've tried it once and now I can't try it again because it's really, really weird tasting. It personally, it tastes like I'm vaping sick and it was one of the ones I was most looking forward to trying as well. Yeah, that'll do. Okay, so... Wow, it is way too, way too foggy in here. Right, give me a sec. I'm going to try and air things out a little bit. So while I'm going to try and air this out, probably not going to work either. Let's try and do another juice. Um, just going to burn some of this stuff off. Personally, I don't know where um, Vape Goo are based. Um, usually I look up a lot of things before I do my reviews, so obviously I know... Where I'm, where these guys are from, um, 
So yeah, we'll do chocolate milk. This one was at the top of the list. Well, the 400 mils I got were the ones I was most looking forward to trying. So, but why not uh, do my bit for the vape community and obviously buy some giant bottles of good juice. So chocolate milk, 100 mil, also 70-30 VG PG ratio. And because I've left that steep in for a, a week or so, that is smelling absolutely wonderful. So imagine if you're having like Nesquik or like your own homemade like chocolate milk, um, sort of like the powdered stuff. Imagine chucking a hell of a lot of chocolate powder in your drink. Um, it's like that sort of taste and smell um, using the goon. Actually, I've never even put this goon on the RX two thirds since I got it and it looks absolutely wonderful. Look at that. Nice matchy matchy. Wouldn't mind a nicer gold drip tip or something like that on the top. If anyone knows any um drip tip suppliers, I know DHD and crispy caps and whatnot do stuff like that, but America and money, you know, shipping and whatnot. So point one two, I think it's a five wrap, uh the alien nichrome. Dual 76 watts. Actually, let's whack that up a bit more. Uh, 85 watts. Let's give it a go. So good. It is. Unbelievable juice. Don't you just love it when you talk with vape in your mouth and you feel like Darth Vader sometimes? Uh... Let's try it. There we go. A little bit better. Maybe. Okay, so the chocolate milk, inhale and exhale are slightly different to each other. The inhale, you get that really warm, hot chocolate sort of taste to it. But on that exhale, it is just full on rich cocoa sort of taste, milkshakey sort of taste. And it is a damn good chocolate vape. Personally, for me, it is probably one of the best chocolate vapes I have ever tried. I haven't really tried many because I'm usually like my desserts, but don't really like move towards like chocolate sort of taste because it's hard for a company to get chocolate a chocolate vape right. So, but this. I'm, most of the time I'm scared to vape this because I know if I start it's going to go really quick and I do want it to last and see how well this steeps um, so yeah vape goo you guys are amazing your juices are top notch so yeah that was monkey custard cola bottles and grape soda and then a nice little bonus review of the chocolate milk as well so I think there are one Two. Oh no, there is actually four left. Never mind, there is another four vape juices left to review. I'll see how much time I've got left today. Um, might be able to squeeze them in today. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Keep vaping, stay off those nasty, stinky fags, and catch you on the next one.